Hey you people. Today I want to make this video to say um that for all the parents out there, for all the friends, families out there, and just people in general, make sure you always be kind. Be kind to those who don't like you. Be kind to those who like you. Be kind to those who are silent. Be kind to those who are loud. Just be kind in general. I noticed, not even just on social media, but in life, I've met plenty of people. Some who were hurt, some were happy, some who were sad, some who were angry. But I notice a lot of us go through a time in our life where life isn't that great and we question why we even exist. Suicidal times in our lives, depressing times in our lives. Times that lead up to the ultimate decision on whether or not we want to take our own life or do we think there is more to this than pain, than misery. And I'm talking to everybody. I want to say whether you believe in God or not, your life matters. Whether you did many things that you're not proud of, your life matters. All your lives matter. I don't care if you feel like you're the worst person in the world and that nobody loves you. Your life matters. I feel like in this society, sometimes we create monsters. We create the things that we don't want to see through lack of communication, through lack of understanding, judging people before we know them, calling people ugly, calling them worthless, making them feel like they have to reach our standards, making them feel like they have to reach our idea of what a perfect person is. There's so many people today who are going to die from suicide or from anything. But the particular issue I'm talking about here is self-destruction. And there's a lot of people today that are going to kill themselves because they feel like this is the end. And that it is not going to get better, that they don't see a future, they don't see a goal, they don't see love. They don't see life in themselves. And that's, that's terrible. I've had a friend that committed suicide before back in 2018. And I've also had a cousin before who also committed suicide. And that's a really tough pill to swallow, to know that somebody could be hurting so bad and not know how loved they are. So, when somebody does that, you know how weak that person has to be emotionally, physically, how hopeless they felt. And it's all because there's nobody to have that deep connection with sometimes. Ultimately, yes, it's their choice, but everybody deserves that person that's there for them, that they can talk to. Everybody in this world deserves a person that they can have a deep connection with, where they don't have to constantly compress their feelings or constantly feel like they're unwanted or unloved. There's so many people here that could turn insane because of how this world made them. And I'm not trying to justify any wrongdoings from people that do wrong to others. But more of the time that people do wrong to others is because those people have been done wrong themselves. And they usually just take that and project that pain onto others. But it all comes from something. It all comes from somewhere. There's a reason behind every action. Nothing is done without reason. Nothing is truly out of nowhere because there is a reason behind everything. A reason about how you feel. A reason why you snap at people. A reason why you cry. There is a reason behind everything. If you feel like anybody that's close to you, if they're always happy all the time, 
talk to them and I mean really talk to them try to have some deep discussions even if you know they'll tell you there's nothing wrong don't don't listen to that because nobody is happy all the time life is not that good at all life is never that good to be happy all the time ever and it wasn't meant to be happy all the time because through these walks of life there's always going to be bumps in the road nobody in life has a smooth road because I've been in that mentality before I felt like an observer of life rather than a part of life I felt unloved dismissed by my own family ignored a lot of the time and yes that makes depression 10 times harder when you can't even talk to the people who share your blood but if there was more people who can put themselves aside for another, we would have less suicides. If I seen a person crying on a bench, and let's say I have social anxiety, my anxiety can wait. I could put that aside to help another person. People need to be willing to put their fears aside, put their ego aside to help another human being. Because you can be helping someone's life. You could be saving their life if you would just put yourself aside for once and not care about anything that has to do with you we are not only on this earth to look after ourselves there are things bigger than us there are things bigger than us people struggle every day every single day there's a lot of people who won't miss a paycheck to spend time with their family there's a lot of people who think so much of themselves that they don't even consider others that they're associated with. Can you imagine being so emotionally distant from your family where the only way you can explain how you care about them is through text because you can't even do it face to face? You know, I was talking to a person yesterday and she always smiled when we talk. If a person smiles all the time, doesn't necessarily that doesn't necessarily mean that they're happy sometimes you got to dig into a person even if it hurts them because a lot of people are afraid to face their own darkness you have to confront your problems to heal you have to you have to embrace both the light and the darkness inside of you you have to know that you have to know your strengths and you have to know your weaknesses because that's what makes you who you are. Even if it hurts. You have to forgive those who broke you. Forgive those people because it's not about them deserving your forgiveness. Forgiveness is not necessarily about them, but it's about you. It does you a favor. It puts you at peace. As long as you harbor that pain and that hatred for another human being, whether they broke you, assaulted you, whatever, their relevance stays in your heart. That pain doesn't go away. You, you will feel that pain every day. You will be holding things that are going to cause you to just rot. A lot of people have harbored hate for the individuals that took advantage of them, that broke them, and they never forgave them. They never said, I forgive this person who broke me. Forgiveness is about putting you at peace. You don't have to be with them anymore, but you shouldn't have to carry any hate in your heart because all hate does is kill. It kills you from the inside out. Suicide is usually a last resort if anybody is thinking about it or contemplating it usually it's a lot of harbored hate and pain for certain things that has happened to them or that they felt even for themselves but please for anybody thinking about it don't because you just never know what you could be missing Imagine meeting an amazing person that you think is amazing and the next day that person kills himself. But he just didn't realize or she just didn't realize how much you loved them. How much you cared about them. If they just would have stayed around a little longer, you would have told them. 
a lot of things in our life can change in an instant. But we have to be patient. And we have to face those conflictions within ourselves. We can't always choose an easy way out. We can't always just say, you know what, I would rather die before I face my darkness. You have to be brave. Because that will take you a long way. If you have something near and dear to you, like a child, or someone you look after, a nephew, a sister, anything, you wouldn't want them to think that they have to end their life before they open up to someone. You wouldn't want them to just say, hey, you know what, it'll be easier if I was just dead. You wouldn't want that for anything that you love. I get that you may struggle. You may be lonely. You may have been broken by those you trusted. You may have been left, neglected, abused, assaulted, anything. But this isn't your end. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's not. There is too much to do in this lifetime. There is too much people who feel what you feel for you to just give up. What I do is I turn that pain into a motivation because pain is oftentimes a teacher in life. It teaches you the most valuable lessons and somebody going through that similar pain, you can help. Even people close to you. You can set an example. You can overcome. You are loved. You are loved. There's so many people that can't even say the words, I love you. People think only weak people say it. I love you doesn't need necessarily be only a romantic thing. It doesn't have to be a weak thing. It doesn't have to be a soft thing. If anything, saying I love you is the strongest thing I ever hear a person say. Because it's rare when somebody can say it and mean it. It requires a certain level of vulnerability, honesty, courage. As a matter of fact, more people should practice saying, I love you. Because it's hard for a lot of people to say. But being able to step outside of that comfort zone will definitely save your life at times. Sometimes the very thing that saves your life is stepping out of your comfort zone. Because then you really put yourself out there. You really put yourself to the test. You give yourself a chance. But that's what I want to say today. Is that you are loved. You are strong. You are important. And you can make it. You have that ability. Give yourself a chance. If you ever need anyone to talk to, anyone at all, just reach out. I love you all. God bless you all. Bye.